This is the new Internet Explorer 6 on Windows Mobile browser. Um, in spite of Microsoft's claims, though, this seems to be an awfully slow browsing experience. It might be the most accurate in terms of you know real desktop uh, rendering, but it's been painfully slow in my experience on this device so far. Looks like we have double tap intelligent zooming. That works pretty well there. There's also a regular zoom control. Bring up here, use your finger to zoom in and out. Tap on the screen, I think, to get out of that. But again, you can see it's not exactly speedy. And seemingly I've tapped on something else to go to a new page. Uh, luckily, it looks like we're pulling up a page with YouTube Flash videos in it, so maybe we can see if that works. It's taken quite some time to load, but the page is up, and you can see it looks like we have real Flash support in here. I'm going to tap on this to activate the control, and we'll see if it starts going. Awfully slow response, though, so I'm not sure. I'm afraid if I tap it one more time, I'm going to end up on the YouTube site. There we go, it looks like it's starting. wonder if I can double tap to zoom or I'm asking too much of the device. There we go. It looks like we're moving. I have the audio muted on the device, I believe. Oh, it flipped out of so landscape mode. Quickly. Uh, the EVD Reve this is a Wi-Fi connection, Euro so it's stuttering, uh, um, very low frame rate. From, say, so it's not particularly impressive, second, whereas, uh, but it is quite working. Fast, so it's, uh, clear that it's not CPU or processor being the issue here. In the start menu, I'm going to jump into the marketplace for the very first time. This will be the first time I've actually seen it running on a device. You might have noticed the uh, new loading indicator, little swirling bars. Let's download and install Marketplace. Nice quick download over Wi-Fi. Odd that it's not pre-installed on the device though. And there's the uh, loading indicator I mentioned. I'm using a stylus just to make it easier with the video. It's not actually necessary. Another new uh, pop-up box here, you can see some of the new notices are much nicer looking and also make use of the uh, new colors and theme support. Here's the main menu. So I can grab a popular application. Looks like the Facebook client's free, might as well grab that. I went ahead and signed in with my Windows Live account and you can see it now says that the application is installing. We can go and continue to look at other things on the device or in the marketplace. Some new apps across here. Windows Live. Grab Pac-Man perhaps. Not for $6.99 though. Looks like more games than anything, which is no surprise. Prices are pretty high, you know, for uh, you people coming from a iPhone world, or even from a lot of the Android devices. Uh, a lot of the Android applications are only 99 cents as well. I'm not saying it's necessarily the right price, because uh, it really takes no less effort to develop a mobile app than it does for the desktop. But um, these prices are likely to turn off a lot of people. See what we have in terms of filtering. You can show just free ones, no free results. Not looking like there's a lot of free games here.
Let's exit out. This is the Windows Media Player on Windows Mobile 6.5. Looks very much like prior versions. Except for the new menus, part of the new Windows Mobile 6.5 menu system. This is the new File Explorer. Uh, you can see it has the new look menus and this scrolling too, but there are also some issues. I just had to restart the application because uh, everything on the display was disappearing. Same problem I've actually had in the IE6 browser. Um, the screen just the screen updates just don't seem to be consistent, and blocks of the screen um, disappear or don't update when other parts do. I've got the new Outlook email client loaded up here, so you can see. And also notice that we changed themes, and you'll see the full effect of that on the home screen in a short while. But watch when I tap on the message here, uh, the whole new look, and watch the new transition as it fades in. Otherwise, the application looks pretty normal. Um, zoom controls, thanks to the HTC Zoom bar at the bottom. It's not a standard part of Windows Mobile 6.5. The new look menus, everything like that. It's, it's quite clean looking. We'll jump back out to the home screen, just so you can see the rest of this theme. It's quite loud, quite interesting looking. In any case, that's my quick look at Windows Mobile 6.5. I haven't had too much time to play around with it. I'm sure I've missed a lot. Um, I was expecting a device two weeks ago and just got it this past weekend instead. But for now, I'm Michael Oral for MobileBurn.com.